it's not a sale, but it's it is a movement of a franchise, and that may happen in Ottawa. But the speculation now is that the Oakland A's will be moving to Las Vegas. It'll be the second Oakland team to take up a new residence in Vegas. Um, Own Point Poindexter is uh, with us uh, from Front Office Sports, and he's been following this story. I am a former Vegas resident. I lived there part-time and full-time between 1980 and 2000, give or take. There were no professional sports teams in Vegas at that time, and there was no real talk of, of that happening. You know, the team in town was the Las Vegas Running Rebels basketball team, and even they had fallen on hard times since the departure of uh, of their head coach, Jerry Tarkanian. What has happened over the last while? We now have two professional sports teams in Vegas and a third coming. We haven't seen this kind of situation in any city in North America ever. It's pretty incredible. Yeah, and, and it's not just, you're right, so we've got the the Golden Knights in the NHL, who are the top team in the Western Conference right now. Um, the uh, the Raiders, of course, moved from Oakland. Likely that they're getting the A's. I would not be at all surprised if they got an NBA team in, you know, but before the end of the decade. Um, Formula One is coming there in November. They had the NFL draft. They're the it's, it's like the sports world cannot get enough of Vegas. Um, I think, you know, part of it is the um, destigmatization of gambling. It's kind of funny that when gambling is legal, all the sports move to the place where gambling was already legal. But um, I think with the lack of stigma, Vegas is is now a hot spot. Also, it's, you know, it's somehow kind of just captured this mantle of like the entertainment capital of the country um, or a place where everything is big and expensive and fancy. Um, and yeah, it's just been in the last five years or so. All of a sudden, it's just this this sports magnet where every league wants a presence there. Oh, and are we putting the cart before the horse, though? Are the A's done? Is it is this a done deal completely? No, no, it's not. Uh, they, the main missing piece right now is they need to make a deal with the Nevada legislature for public money. Uh, they could probably make this work without public money, but the A's don't want that. MLB wants to maintain the status quo of when a team gets a new stadium, public money is involved. And so what the A's are pitching right now, uh, what they came in asking for is $500 million dollars toward a roughly $1.5 billion stadium. That's obviously not a small amount of money. And it's an open question how much of an appetite there is for that in Las Vegas, in Nevada, because the Raiders got $750 million for their stadium uh, that was paid for mostly by a hotel tax. And there isn't really an appetite for another hotel tax. Uh, I think what the A's want is to... Um, have a bond that then gets paid for by taxes basically on the lot that they're building. Uh, but it would still be tax money that that could go toward schools, roads, whatever else. And so it, it's still an open question whether um, whether the legislature is going to bite or if they would take 200, 300 million if they can work out a deal there. But until that deal gets done, um, it, this is not a done deal. When we when we look at the Ottawa senators, for example, if we look at Los Angeles, with the new facilities that they built, almost always now what we're looking at is, um, you know, multiple buildings, multiple uses for those buildings. They become hotels, retail centers, uh, in infrastructure for the arena right around condos, the arena. Condos too, yeah, exactly. Um, is that the plan in Vegas too? Yes, they have more land than they need for just the stadium and the parking lots. I think there's going to be some kind of entertainment complex there. I don't know how expansive. I think they have 49 acres that they have. It's been reported as a binding agreement, but I've also seen that they could back out of it if they don't get a, a deal for um, for public money. Uh, anyway, they've, they've got more space than they need. Um, it won't be as expansive as what they were planning in Oakland, which was this basically a whole new neighborhood with with housing, uh, parks, uh, hotels, restaurants, um, right. retail. Um, I think it's going to be more like a stadium and an entertainment complex and maybe, you know, some shops, maybe a hotel or housing. But um, but I think it's going to be a stadium plus, you know, a couple other medium to small things. So but you, you bring up what, what could be in Oakland. Is there anybody in Oakland 
fighting to keep the A's now, or is this have people given up? Uh, no, I mean certainly the fans have not given up. Um, Friday, but they was... have, they have no money. <laughs> They have no um, money. Well, yes, the, the fans can, they, they don't, they, they can make a lot of noise, essentially. Um, yeah, I mean, right now, negotiations are off in Oakland. It's, they, the the day, or at least the week that this deal was announced, the Las Vegas land deal was announced, they were, the team and the city of Oakland were about to enter a, a negotiation summit where they were supposed to hammer out a lot of the details and, and you know, maybe even get something signed uh, or, or, you know, get, get very close to that. Um, so they were they were getting close in Oakland. According to one report, they were only about 90 to 100 million dollars apart, which is a pretty bridgeable gap uh, when we we're talking of a, about a, a 12 billion dollar development. Um, and the Oakland mayor, Shang Tao, has said, you know, if the team calls me back, I'll pick up the phone. You know, it's like we didn't walk away here. We're, we're still ready to make a deal. Uh, fans are protesting trying to get John Fisher to sell the team, which is probably not going to happen. There has been some speculation that all this is just an elaborate play to uh, to pump up the value of the team so that he can sell. I don't know if that's true, but there has been that speculation and, you know, some amount of uh, a narrative to to back that up. Um, and, and so, yeah, Oakland has not given up. The fans have certainly not given up. Um, but um, but right now, the momentum is in Vegas. The plan A has shifted to Vegas. If they can get a deal done there, it looks like they're moving. Um, but the Nevada legislative session ends on June 5th. They could call a special session to try to get this deal done. But the clock is ticking. And if things do go south in, in Nevada, then, yeah, there's most of a deal ready to be picked back up in Oakland. The really interesting thing, again, and I speak as a former resident, you know, I can understand the motivation to, to, for the Golden Knights. It was the first professional sports team there. Even though hockey was not a big deal in, in Las Vegas, people there liked the idea of being on the pro sports map. And and they they did that. And they did, you know, the hockey team has done very well, both on the ice and off the ice. The football team, I think, was a little bit tougher. The baseball team, however, you know, summertime in Vegas, it's 110 degrees at night in the middle of the summer. Um, they've had a baseball team for decades in Vegas, a triple-A team. The A's triple-A team, in fact. Sorry? The A's triple-A team, in fact. It is now. Exactly. Exactly. And they do okay, but they're not, you know, it's not a big thing if you live there. I just don't think baseball is a real item in Las Vegas. And I wonder whether the the public momentum or lack of momentum, more accurately, in Vegas is going to be a factor in this. I don't think people in Vegas are screaming for a baseball team. I really don't. Yeah, the sense I've gotten is that they're happy to have them if they move there. You know, it's yeah, a baseball they come, team great. better than not a baseball yeah. team. But yeah, I mean, there is this, I thought, very amusing quote from the governor's office before this land deal happened when you know it was still kind of uh will they or won't they which city are they ultimately going to choose um where they said the the a's have not applied for public funding or any public programs that we have here in nevada but they may or may not be eligible for them or anyone else who wants to bring their business here may or may not be able it was just like the most vague statement you could possibly make it wasn't exactly oh we would love to have the a's please come we'll make it work um ultimately it's likely that they will make it work because they would like to have a team. Rob Manfred, the MLB commissioner, has waived the expansion fee. And so this is sort of a unique opportunity. At the same time, if this deal falls through, it's reasonably likely that Las Vegas would be near the top of the list for an expansion team. And baseball is going to add two teams, uh, probably, you know, at least have a deal for them by the end of the decade and maybe have teams playing. You know, it could be in the next five years. Um, so... Um, yeah, I, and the big open question, um, or one of the big open questions is, so the the Raiders are a tourist draw. The Knights maybe too. The Knights seem to be popular one way or another. Yeah. yeah will baseball have that same pull? Um, will people come to Las Vegas to see the A's, which is what the team is um, uh, claiming? Um, or will they not really? They're saying they're going to get something like 3,000 fans per game from tourists, which 
you know, I, I don't know. It seems seems like a high number to to be estimating. And, and, so, and it's almost an irrelevant. It's almost an irrelevant number. Three thousand uh -huh. per game. 